So before we were able to use the surface normal to give us some information about how the surface of the model is behaving. But now we need to be able to use that in a more mathematically rigorous manner so that it stays put with where we put it. And that way it behaves with the rest of the matrices that we're using. Um, so in our JavaScript code in um, the example, at this point uh, we have a function to compute our model matrix, which does the spinning and everything. Um, we need a new function to compute the normal matrix. And what that looks like um, is uh, taking the model view matrix, so just where the model is moved to and just to where the camera is moved to, combine those and smush those together, and we need to start to use that to transform our normal. But if you think about it, a normal is, between, is, is of length one. So if you take a translation matrix and just naively applied it, your, your normal would zoom off the screen and be whatever kind of arbitrary length um, which is not good. Um, and there's some other math that goes in, into it as well, um, but the, the correct matrix that you need is the inverse transpose 3x3 three three matrix of a 4x4 four four matrix. Um, okay. Uh, so I, I, I uh, have this function that abstracts it away, which is the, um, which I've called MDN normal matrix, and under the hood, I took this from the GL matrix, GL matrix library, which is great, I love this thing. Um, and it does the kind of gnarly math of doing all that so, and then giving you the resulting matrix. So it's a three by three, you feed it a model view four by four and get the um, transform, uh, the normal matrix that then you can use to basically have your normal follow the same um, transformation that your model and your camera have done. Um, it, Take note that this does ignore the projection matrix, so there's no projection going on. Um, so this is like one of those things that's like easy to get really confused on and overwhelmed because there's lots of terminology there. Um, but the TLDR is take a 4x4, run it through the normal matrix function, and you get the kind of magical matrix that you need and you can feed it through. The other kind of transform work on your matrix, um, on your normal rather, then you need to make sure and get the correct matrix because you don't want to just take your normal and do crazy things and make it fly off the screen. You only really care about like the rotation of it. Um, so how does it look with, with the code and what we're doing now? Uh, okay, so here's the vertex shader now. Uh, and you know before we have the position, the normal, we have the model view um, projection matrix. We add one more matrix to it, which is the normal matrix, which is, which is uh, what we just discussed. And we apply it here in the vertex shader, not in the fragment shader, because that way we only apply it per vertex, not per pixel, per fragment. Um, we assign it to the V normal. So now our, our varying normal value um, is magically transformed in the correct component space. If we go down here, this, uh, this code will all still just be the same. Um, but let's look at our model and, and try to analyze and see what's going on here. If you notice on this left side of the bunny, um, and again, I've just as a quick recap, um, I did transform it the normal to be from negative one to one to zero to one. That way, it correctly displays the color. But on the left hand side, you can see our values are are blue if they're pointing off well that way, um, and they're purple if they're pointing off uh, in the opposite direction. And then pointing up, they're green. And this stays consistent no matter where we move the camera, no matter where we move the model. Now we have a consistent way to be able to describe the surface of our model.